Hi everybody. Good morning. John Swift here on this calm, well except for that noise. It's a, a saw. What do you call this? Chainsaw. Other than that, a calm Monday morning out here at the John Ringling Estate is where I am. We'll take a little peek here. I am on the uh, the south south side of the estate, which is has a lot more trees and is a lot more wooded. If you're on the north side, that's more the side where the circus museum is. His house is slightly more to the north or the middle side. There's a lot more uh, buildings on that side. I am jogging this morning along the bayfront past the house over to the southmost boundary, I would say. This is like the boundary of the estate where it runs into the college campus over here. But essentially these woods are where the boundary of the estate. Yeah, I was gonna say is, I was running through here, I wasn't planning on shooting a vlog today, but I just thought, you know, what a cool place to shoot a vlog. Um, it's so tranquil. Now you can hear the birds, see? No more chainsaw. I don't know if you hear the bird. Now there's a truck going by. Okay, I swear it was tranquil earlier. <laughs> I was going to say it was this calm, tranquil day, but you've got trucks and chainsaws. They must be doing some kind of uh, maintenance this morning. I don't know. But let's enjoy this little piece of tranquility here at the Ringling Estates by enjoying some nature and some chainsaws. Um, I've become a bit of a history buff in recent years, and um, I enjoy seeing this stuff because you read that Ringling probably came here in the 1800s and built this around, I think, the 20s, mid-20s, or was finished around the 20s. And uh, it's neat to imagine what was going on back in those days, sort of uh, the history that was happening, how Sarasota was being born, and how people were riding around in old cars and the railroad track was part of the mainstream of transportation and I like to kind of dream about what that time of life you know wasn't as bustling back then I'm sure it was very quiet this population was probably very low in Sarasota I'm looking at their building some kind of building here I just haven't figured out what it is it's really odd it's like that big green square thing we came out, I'd say six months ago, maybe last, the end of last summer. They were, they were building part of this, and I think it's part of a library building. It looks like it's attached to the museum here. I didn't really want to do a lot on the museum, though. But I just wanted to, uh, you know, if you're like, eh, museum's kind of boring, or, you know, okay, I've seen John Ringling's house, yada, yada, yada. But the grounds are very pretty. At one time, I don't know how long ago, they used to do the they used to do the um, medieval fair here. I know, I know, in around '99 they still did it here. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, maybe in the early 2000s they did it. But this lake is really pretty. It has, uh, I don't know, if you enjoy nature, like me, it doesn't have to be an exceptionally awesome lake. That's starting to. I don't know if you could see, just a little bit of spritz coming down. It's very light rain coming down today. I can enjoy jogging and being out in a light rain, but not a medium medium rain. But I don't know, maybe we'll go take a little peek at what's going on up here. Just a little peek. This building is huge. Wow. I don't know if this is an addition. Gosh, maybe I should have done some homework on this. But as usual, I, I never really know much about anything. I'm sure there's a sign up here. I think this is a library. It has books on the shelves. We'll go take a peek at what this big green thing is. Wow. We were <laughs> we were looking at it from back, way back on the shore. We didn't even come up here the other, like maybe a week ago. 
we didn't even uh, have any idea what that green thing was. It's like big green tiles. It's really hard to get a sense of what that is. <coughs> okay. This building here, this is the main museum part. I didn't even, I, I never even noticed that little roof on the top over there. You see that little roof tile? Anyway, I digress. This is the Johnson Blaylock Education Center, which is probably part of something, State University. Um, Florida State University. So maybe that's part of that. But there's also this big green thing, which is hard to, <laughs> I just keep calling it the, the big green thing. It's this big green, we'll do a screenshot here and go, what is this green thing? Okay, that would be a green, good screenshot for this video. Anyway, they've been doing a lot of construction. They've been building this large green thing. I don't know when this was built, but I was saying that the main body of the museum is actually this part, this sport like a big horseshoe. But then they've added this education center, center, University of Florida. But here's kind of a look at the side of this thing. <clears throat> this big green thing. You might be able to make out there's a, there is some little tiny windows up here. So I wonder what that was intended to be. I don't know if we're supposed to be in this area. It seems like a construction area. I'm kind of weary of being right here. I don't see anybody else but workers here. But I see the cars do drive down here. It's amazing. The money is probably being spent on this stuff. Millions and millions of dollars. There's a couple construction trucks over there. Maybe we'll just kind of glide back toward the water and look at some more of the beautiful grounds, which are all this part. Like I was saying earlier, they used to have the, <clears throat> the excuse me, the middle of the fair was here, and you used to be able to walk all around this. They've got a really neat little garden over there. You could meander over there, maybe. Do you ever meander? <laughs> I meander sometimes. Sometimes I just kind of waltz over. But most of the time, I think I'm meandering because usually when I start a vlog, I have no idea what I'm really going to shoot. Unless there's real something specific that I had in mind. But I would say generally 80% of the time I'm kind of meandering around. That's my style. Because when I go out and hike or jog or walk, I'm usually meandering about checking out things. This little, uh, that little shed right there that looks really kind of decorative is part of the Caples Estate. And I do plan to go over there and shoot some video of that Caples Estate, which is pretty interesting. I read some about the Caples guy, was another one of those industrialists who had, I think, manufacturing. I could be wrong. I get him and uh, Crosley. Crosley confused because Crosley lived on the other side of John Ringling and the Caples guy lived over here. I think he did a lot of real estate downtown, bought plots, put up buildings. You know, I read this stuff like on Wikipedia or wherever and, I, and it just runs right out of my ear. So anyway, we could, uh, here comes another truck. We could meander on over to the garden over here. Why we're here. Here is a longer look at, it's kind of a, I think they call it like a tree walk or something. It's a sidewalk with a lot of foliage and trees and just very nice scenery. I like to go and when I go to a park or something, I like to go to a park with a lot of oaks that are overhanging, like a canopy type thing because it's normally so hot. Today, fortunately, we caught a break from the weather. This is the first day. It's probably start out in the 70s and it's probably going to be in the 80s today. But there's not much sun at this point, you know. <laughs> Our weather in Sarasota, if I hadn't mentioned we're in Sarasota, the weather is kind of goofy in that it can be cool in the morning and then it could be hot an hour later and then it can be full on rainstorm and then it can be sunny 15 minutes later. Our, our weather is so crazy, especially with there's a tropical disturbance off in the Gulf. See, I'm just, I'm, I'm biting time right now because I'm taking you over there. I think that's the Rose Garden. Um, a lot of this state is very wooded, somewhat wooded. Um, I have a feeling this guy's coming for me. Why do I get that feeling in the back of my neck? This guy behind me. 
or if he's headed toward me. We'll see. Take a little drink of water here. Good morning. Are you still recording? <laughs> I might be editing that out. I just dropped the phone and it zoomed in at the same time. Oh, it's still recording. Wipe you off there. The guy was not coming for me. Hopefully the camera is not. Oh, there we are. All right, so I just dropped the camera. But now I'm back. We're heading toward the rose garden, which is pretty large for a rose garden. I don't know if I'd say it's like 200 feet across or something. Really neat thing besides this just being a bunch of trees and they got John really do did apparently like a lot of statues and there's a lot of the original statue work here. You know it looks a little bit like Rome because these columns are sort of falling apart somewhat. <laughs> like a Roman column. The concrete is falling off of it. But these statues are different and then some of them are like Greek gods, but then some of them are these real just normal looking statues of a, a lady with a hat and a, looks like another looks like a guy yeah of course he doesn't have a thing but this is the rose garden I'm not a huge rose guy but still I find the beauty in this stuff it's probably been over here for somewhere around a hundred years since the 20s to me it looks like the original benches and yes even though it's really super, super old, you can sit. Wow, right in the sun. You can sit on this bench. If I get my hand out of the way. And not crumble. We'll go take a little quick jog around the banyan tree. Which, um, I don't know if John Ringling planted the banyan trees. Necessarily. Some more statues over here of just a guy playing a little. Looks like a 54 Strat. No, I mean, it's a. A lute or something, I don't know. And a guy and a lady. And some fruit. There are a lot of banyan trees. Like I said, I don't know if John planted those or somebody planted them after, but they're they're ginormous. If you look at this this way right here, starting here and going over that, I think that's one tree. It's like a forest, but it's a tree. Okay, here's a better shot. You can see there's sort of a central cluster toward the middle of this tree. And then you can see how it branches out because of the, I guess you'd call them roots, but they look like trunks, actually. But the way the banyan tree grows, it just spreads out exponentially. Um, and, it, and it turns out to be like a forest canopy. Okay, so maybe, maybe there's more than one banyan tree out here. Maybe this is one. There's another one over here. So it was wrong initially. But they leave a lot of leaves. <laughs> but it's just, it, it really reminds me of something that should be in Europe. Like, a, maybe that's because they're originally from Europe, possibly. But um, whenever you see movies about, like, a king, what's his name? You know, Excalibur and all that stuff, and King Arthur. It reminds you of these type of woods with all this woodsy trunks. And you can kind of see somewhat. It looks like maybe the central trunk was right here, and it spread out all the way out to this end branch over here. And you can see there's a like a root. Why don't we just call them tendrils? I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm not an expert, but these tendrils, whatever they are, are very solid, just like a tree trunk, these tendrils. So it's a very pretty, pretty area. Like I said, I, I, I've started jogging here. I will jog across the, across the bay front and over and out. Makes for a nice, very scenic. You know, sometimes I run through the city and it's just a lot of buildings, 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 and it's not so, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word, um, calming, <laughs> for lack of a word that's better than that. One more look at the little 
banyan tree forest that's sort of here in the middle. Very pretty, serene. Maybe that was the word I was looking for. I really, I really love vines. I have these in my house too. These vines that crawl all the way up. Sometimes they crawl way up the trees. Tranquility, maybe that's a good word. Serenity. Sometimes if I run in a wooded area, I feel calm by being with the plants. Maybe originally, in original life, I was a plant or a tree or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure. But I feel very calm when I'm in a wooded place. If I go out to like a state park where there's lots of trees and animals, it does kind of set your mind at ease some from your normal daily work stuff. So if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you like the videos, click on the YouTube at the bottom and look for that thumbs up and click that like button. I also have a t-shirt website, johnswift.spreadshirt.com. You search that in Google if you want to get a, a shirt. I, I, I wanted to order some more shirts to show you what they, they look like because I'm just wearing a plain shirt. But Anyway, check that out. Help, help support the John Swift Live. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate all the support you guys give. Even though it may be like one person watching this video, <laughs> I still appreciate that. I appreciate you, sir. The one person or the one lady that watched this video. And by the way, okay, which side is it? The, sub the subscribe thing is up here. Go ahead and click the subscribe, that little blue box. That always helps out. They had that support. Hope you guys are going to have a great week. And uh, should be getting ready for uh, Halloween soon. So I'll be out decorating the yard this week. So maybe we'll shoot a little bit of that decorating stuff. Meanwhile, I'm going to go back to jogging. Have a great week, guys. We'll see you. Take care. Still there. This is the end of the video.